Hey guys, this is Vivek Babishi, aka that API guy, and I'm really excited to tell you about the new AI builder that Microsoft recently launched. In this video series, we'll first see a demo of the AI builder's capabilities. We'll build the AI models and also put them in apps and see how it works out. So we'll build the apps from scratch. So let's get started. Microsoft recently launched the AI Builder for Power Platform during the Business Application Summit on June 9th and this AI Builder is going to make things much more easier and much more quicker for citizen developers to use AI in their Canvas apps. There are a lot of capabilities. Um, like the binary classification, text classification, object detection, business card reader, and processing forms. Three of these features we'll see a demo in a minute. But yeah, I just want to kind of share this with you. So AI is, I mean, using AI was possible in Canvas apps even before. It was just not this easy. Um, you had to set up account on Azure portal, you had to generate the keys and then use them in uh, uh, in some custom connectors or through flow you have to bring the data back in and use it in power app so it was possible uh, but now it's super easy and super simple to use it so let's not waste any more time and just jump onto the demo so as you can see i built this uh, app uh, to show the different capabilities of the ai builder and we'll go one by one here. So let's start with the business card reader. So click on the business card reader dialog here. It takes me to the screen. I'll click on this scan business card, take photo. And then this is an old business card of mine. Click here, check it, and it starts processing. All right, so it it's, it processed the business card and you can see it has taken my name, last name, job title, everything's actually pretty perfect in this case. It has recognized everything. Um, and then I can just click on submit contact and it adds the contact um, into my CDS entity uh, contacts. So it just gets submitted over there. And then let's go back to the home and um, tie the object detector. All right, so for this, I actually um, built like a swag detector so that I can kind of keep an inventory of all the, the different swag that I have. So let's take a photo here. So as you can see over here, I have some PowerX badges, stickers, and DD sticker as well. So let's see if the AI builder can recognize this. And there you go, boom. It detected the two PowerX patches, uh, one PowerX sticker and the TDD sticker. So it gives you the name and the quantity as well and it also tags it here uh, on the image itself. So, I mean, that's pretty slick, right? I mean, you just train the model and you can detect any object that you want uh, it to detect. Let's try the demo for the form processor. So I'll click on analyze and I'll select on the invoices here. And there you go. It uh, detected the, the invoice number, the, the date, uh, to whom this uh, some power addict, uh, that's the, the invoice uh, that has been addressed to, and then some of the items uh, in the invoice. Addiction cure um, or medicines for power apps, uh, there's, there's none. The only uh, cure is more power apps and more flow. <laughs> so let's see the invoice here. Um, so this is my invoice that I created. Um, so you see, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty to the, it does scan it pretty well. Um, it has the description, price, quantity, 
amount, everything in here, the, the subtotal, discount, and tax, and all of these have been detected over here as well. So, as you can see, that was a demo of the three features that you can actually quickly and easily build. Um, to learn more about each of these features, um, you'll see the links for the, the three videos uh, somewhere here. And um, uh, in each of these videos, I'll build the app from scratch and the AI model as well, so that you know how to kind of start it from, from this base. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments if you, about the, the new AI builder, or if you have done something, please share it in the comment section. And if you want to watch more stuff that I kind of work on, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at that underscore API underscore guy. Thank you for watching.